Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. We're on version 23.3 of the Jaw Test software. Update came out on the 13th of November here. Um, lots of new service information, lots of great new coverage. Um, and as always, there's a, a few um, uh, advancements to the, the graphical interface um, to make it more user-friendly, uh, more visual, that kind of thing. One of those I'm going to cover in this video here, um, it's the, the new cylinder cutout uh, animations that they've added for the Detroit Diesel product. So I'm going to go ahead here and in the simulator, select manufacturer. I'm going to find Detroit Diesel. Um, we're going to go through and find a DD series and connect to, let's do a DDEC 20. Um, we'll select that. We'll form our connection here. Another uh, cool feature I'm going to talk about in a separate video, really awesome for the off-highway market, is we can actually add pictures of connectors now. So you can snap a photo of, of that diagnostic connector, where it's located, and then you can add that to the list here of, um, of images about your connection. Um, carrying on here, we're going to hit connect. Uh, we're going to get into this diagnostic dashboard for this DDAC20. Um, and we're going to go into system checks. And under system checks, you will see... Uh, we've got cylinder cutout, we've got cylinder balance, compression test, um, low pressure fuel circuit testing, fuel control valve testing, all that good stuff is in here. Um, but for this one, we're going to actually go into the manual process for cylinder cutout. And I'm going to walk you through the cylinder cutout test with the new graphical um, uh, animation here, uh, which makes it kind of uh, uh, makes it kind of nice, just easier to kind of see where you're at. Um, so you can see here we've we've got this service information, just you know, walking you through um, the uh, the the procedure here. We'll hit the check mark, and then this is going to bring up the conditions, our engine speed, engine's got to be idling, um, and then we're going to hit the check mark here to carry on and select your cylinder. So we're going to start at cylinder one. Okay, we can always uh, move on to the next cylinder pretty seamlessly here. Uh, but you can see here's the new um, graphical interface here. So we can see, obviously, this is not in real time. This is just a, an animation here. Uh, but it just kind of uh, gives you an idea of exactly where you are at in the uh, cylinder cutout process here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off uh, injector number one. Okay, it's activated. Um, the injector number one is now off. So you can see we've got injector one off. Okay, um, here's your injector identifier, here's your engine speed, and your um, injected fuel value. So you can see the, the changes in, inject, in fuel injection and engine speed when you turn that particular, um, uh, that particular uh, injector off. Okay, now we can carry on to the next cylinder. Okay, so we're going to flip over to here. Now we're at cylinder two. You'll notice cylinder one turned back on automatically. We're going to shut off cylinder number two. Now it's going to come up showing us that, hey, we've got no injection going on in cylinder number two here. So just a, a cool visual for you, um, nice and, and easy to kind of just follow along where you're at in the uh, cylinder cutout process. Uh, we've also still got the graphing uh, capabilities here as well, where you can see engine speed, fuel injection, and torque value change, depending on what injector you have turned off here. So different ways to view your data, um, just another kind of cool um uh, addition to the the software here so uh, again we're going to check out a couple of the other features in in other videos for the 23.3 software version um, as well as uh, cover some uh, additional makes and models that they've added to each of the uh, uh, each of the, the modules here so